Guy Fieri is back in the house. Guy Fieri is back in the house. Guy Fieri is back in the house. Actually, can we do that again, but with flames, please? Can we, can we edit in some flames here? What's up? It's Guy Fieri, and I'm back for more. Okay. What is up, beautiful? How you doing? You look amazing, and I'm so happy you're here today. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're watching some people do at-home highlights in a few different methods. Uh, you'll see. You know what these videos are about. Uh, give this video a like, even though it hasn't even started yet. Just do it. It'd be so good for me. You know what highlights are. You know what at-home color looks like. Let's get it started. Let's watch some people ruin their hair with highlights at home. Let's do it. And our first video is by a woman named Van... Well, her channel's name is Van Luke. Seven. And the video is called Grey Highlight Tutorial Gone Wrong. Hair fail or success? Well, I will be the judge of that today. I didn't put lashes on today. It's because I'm going to be doing my hair today. So yeah, I know I might look a little bit like Kermit the Frog without my lashes, but hey, it's <laughs> just what it is. So anyway, Girl, you look great! <laughs> Literally me as a mom. <laughs> I'm making fun of my kid all the time. Like it was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I scratched that. Where's my fork? This right here, you guys, is the best thing. What? For scratching your head. Don't do that. Any other areas of your body when you have an itch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but they make scratchers, like back scratchers. So if you need a, like a scratcher, girl, let me send you one. <laughs> Let's stop using forks. Anywho, <laughs> for today's video, y'all, um, we are doing my gray streaks again. It hit my elbow. Uh, the amount of AD in this video is actually I gone back to black, but I use, like, alarming, this tip, but also but relatable. I just to show y'all, this is all of my gray right here. I love okay. it. Okay, the thing off the bat I'm gonna say is that her dark hair definitely makes her look a lot, a lot younger. She literally could pass for 28. She might be 28, I don't know. <laughs> but I think with the gray hair, I think it's gonna age her a lot. Even though I have no problem with gray hair, believe me, I have turned a lot of people from somebody who likes to cover up their gray hair to somebody who rocks their gray hair. Like, I'm like the biggest gray hair advocate, except when like, you're just not quite there in age yet, like, and it looks better dark or like, fully colored and then i i think she looks good with this this color hair i think it looks very natural um and we're gonna see what she does though we're gonna see the hard thing when it comes to transitioning to gray <sighs> is going through the odd phase of the skunk yeah thing, the skunk you really have to keep up with it or it like really doesn't look thing. good i genuinely think gray hair is super schmicky y'all hey me too girl me too so girl. <laughs> today i bought this prism lights oh. um it's a dust free Tonal lightener, so it will tone down some of the brassiness is what I read. So, tonal lightener basically just has more blue pigments in the lightener. So while it's lifting your hair, it'll cancel out at the same time some of those orange tones that may come through if you're lightening very dark hair. You know, most lighteners these days are tonal. Love that. It's all of this stuff I got from Sally's, y'all. I am not a professional. Okay? Got it. I realized so that. Anybody saying like, <laughs> Yes, thank because you for saying that. Crazy. Okay, let's be real. Yes. Family members supporting family members. We love that so much. I also bought this. I don't know what is if, that? if you can see it well. Got to be metallic. The color is metallic silver. Why don't I pay people to do this for me? Like I can afford to have people do this. Like, why don't I do this? Okay. <laughs> Exactly my thought. I guess it's just more fun ruining your hair and then having to get a fix. I don't know. I mean, apparently that's the consensus of like what I've gotten over the years from these videos. Like people just like to ruin their hair. It's like fun for them. I still don't understand, but what am I gonna do about it, you know? I mix equal parts of this with the bleach. And then you go right up here. Okay, well actually. And then, and then you just go in and you just bleach. You just, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this again. I mean, kind of good. I put the this is kind of nice. She got it really close to that root. I'm really impressed. 
I don't know what this placement is. I don't know if she has any rhyme or reason to why she's doing it like this. But like, I don't know. I'll live your extra life, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, living. Some horizontal foils. She's doing very fine sections. We like that. I mean, this isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Why are you calling me Tatiana? Who's Tatiana? <laughs> Nobody thought neither. Nobody thought neither. Nobody thought neither. Nobody thought neither. I love this family. Her daughter is called her Tatiana. I always call people Tatiana. <laughs> so relatable. Up here, there isn't much white. So I'm going to go very light with the bleach in the front. The majority of it is going to be in the back. <laughs> Did I hear that correctly? Why are we... What? So she's only foiling where she has white hair. I don't know if she exactly realizes that what foiling does, it gives you highlights. So we just don't want any highlights in the front of our head? Just in the back? Usually it's the opposite. But um, I guess we can work with that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hair. That way when it grows out, I don't have to worry about coloring the regrowth. I just want to be able to do this and then be done with it. So that's why I'm using this technique. <laughs> what? Mm, I'm confused. <laughs> so she wants it so that when her hair grows out and she gets that line of demarcation from where her grays are to her black hair, she wants that to blend more. So she's only foiling the parts where it has the gray hair. Okay, I think I'm kind of understanding. I guess she doesn't really want it all even. She just wants the gray parts to be gray and the black parts to be black. To each their own. By no means at all am I a professional. <laughs> this is just something that Thank you for repeating that. I needed to, to remember. Oh, look at this placement. I love it. But, um, <laughs> My favorite part. The job is done. So <laughs> My favorite part is that she's calling herself out before I even have to. Thank you for that. <laughs> Oh! Hair, which this is the oh. that it turned out. I think it got really light. It looks really great. Oh. Oh. Uh, we're gonna mix all the content in. Uh, uh, mm, we're gonna uh, Bro, what had happened in the back of your head? Honestly, like the front highlights aren't bad. It's just that one spot of like piss yellow blonde that I'm like, what had happened there? What had happened there? So now she's using that silver box dye and hopefully this is gonna maybe tone her hair a little bit so it looks more like i don't know presentable but uh i don't think it's possible so maybe not <laughs> oh, oh no my hair <laughs> loses two strands <sighs> clickbait um, me when i'm watching videos if this is not an accurate depiction of my reaction videos <laughs> Everything's good, girl. Everything's fine. <laughs> I abruptly ended. I washed off the dye because some of my hair was falling off. Um, I didn't lose too much hair, which is good, but I did lose some hair. Now, some of my hair is very damaged. What is that? Color, but she really can't. Why is it skunky? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I think we missed the mark on this one. It looks very natural. Oh. Um, Natural wear. Somebody show me where it's natural because it looks like a big streak down the middle of your head. I don't know. Maybe I have bad eyesight. I don't know, you guys, but... Share the video with your friends and your family on your social media and everything. Girl, there you go. I just shared it for you. I hope you enjoyed well, me watching your video. And there you go. There's what you wanted. It shared the world now. <laughs> oh, Van Luke. Thank you for that. Thoroughly enjoyed your personality and I don't know, maybe go to a hair house next time since you said you can afford it. So <laughs> in our next video is by Patrick Jordan English. How to color and highlight hair. Do it yourself by Patrick Jordan. Highlights, do it yourself. Sounds like a bad idea. All right, cool. That's great, awesome. With this technique, you can either go for a bottle yash. Mm, sorry, I'm already gonna come for you. Marty, Marty coming for you, but uh, you got a little spotting going on there, girl. It's a little spotty on the top there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna tell you. We're okay. So what's the what's highlights. the technique we're going here? So what you want to do is a three-strand regular braid, what's, and you're going to section off pieces of hair every time you cross an outer okay. strand. 
Once you're done braiding, those pieces of hair that you left out are the ones that you're going to dye or bleach. What? I've seen it all, man. I've seen it all. First of all, you gotta know how to braid very well in order to do this. <laughs> Second of all, I mean, I get the idea that like, they're trying to just do it, randomize the pieces that are chosen. I just don't really know what the, the braid would be doing. Again, I've seen it all at this point, I guess. So obviously this is a very natural look because different pieces of hair come so natural, every yeah. other direction. It's so natural. It's too. gonna be so really use this natural. And if you want your hair to look even more natural, what you want to do is tease the sections you left <sighs> out. And, and we're back eye. combing in a braid so that way it never comes out. How long should you leave the Ooh. product on? I'm gonna be kind of shook if this comes out good. Listen, this has potential to actually be maybe decent, but what I'm already noticing is that we're not coloring anything up here. So everything's very concentrated on like five inches of her ends, uh, which is gonna probably give her a very harsh like ombre instead of highlight. She's already starting with highlights, so it's kind of hard to tell what the new parts are gonna look like. Let's check it out. And now, detangle your hair for the next five hours. Have fun. Hair bleaches with lower volumes are going to lighten your hair slowlier. Did she just say slowlier? Less hair slowlier, but at the same time, slowlier, but at the same slowlier. Let's see if slowlier is a word. Slowlier. No, definitely not. I'm sorry. <laughs> slower is a word actually slowlier is not but um okay <laughs> actually you're still getting like a very solid line of like where the new bleaching is i don't know i don't you should, I, it kind of just looks like she took bleach and just slapped it on all of her ends that she just needs more highlights in the top that's all i don't think this looks like horrible i just think she needs to like get some highlights up there and like blend all of it together because right now she kind of has like dark roots orange mids blonde ends and it's very like and like you just put a few highlights going through all of that, it'll make it nice and even and glamorous and wonderful and make me very happy. <laughs> Ding. And our last video for today is by a girl named JB. What's up, JB? Highlights at home on dark hair. L'Oreal Frost in design review and demo. Fudge yeah. Let's highlight some hair, shall we? That's intro. Kit Perfect. It's about $10. It's Amazing. Frost and Design. I haven't seen really too many reviews. Uh, like there's I probably a reason for that. So but I thought that maybe I, I don't could. Know. And also, I am a novice at hair dyeing. I am no way an expert. This is my first time ever doing anything crazy on my own hair. Uh huh. So, yeah, I'm basically taking the risk to help you people out in the future oh. in case you decide to do this and then see my video. So as you can see, this is everything that came in the kit right here. Okay, it looks that like bleach. Stuff, so that's good. I wonder how many lawsuits like L'Oreal gets for at-home hair color a year. Could you imagine?